Bram Stoker's Dracula, first published in 1897, is a gothic horror novel that tells us the story of Count Dracula's attempt to move from Transylvania to England in order to spread the undead curse and feed on the blood of new victims. Bram Stoker is an Irish writer born in 1847, Clontarf, coastal suburb of Dalbner Island. The novel is present through a series of journal entries, letters and newspapers articles, primarily from the perspectives of Jonathan Hacker, Mina Murray, Dr. John Seward and Professor Abraham Van Helsing. Jonathan Hacker is a government employee traveling to the castle of uh, Count Dracula in Transylvania because Count is buying Carfax Abbey in England. Harker records the details of his trip in his journal for his fiancée, Mina Murray. His journey to the castle was frightening, with wolves howling, melee horses pulling the carrying coach over the steep mountains. Harker saw that the Count was a pale, aged man dressed in black and his castle, richly furnished, dark and empty. Harker soon discovers that the Count is a vampire because his reflection was not seen in the mirror and his hesitation to drink Harker's blood when Harker accidentally cut himself. He also discovers he is being kept prisoner there. He finds Dracula sleeping in one of the many boxes that they were uh, filled with earth later, nailed shut, loaded into wagons by gypsies because the Count is leaving for England. Jonathan Harker's fiancée, Mina Murray and her dear friend Lucy Westinra exchange letters because Lucy is engaged to Arthur Homewood. Dr. Seward, who had a crush and got rejected by Lucy, runs an asylum near Carfax Abbey and has a dangerous patient called Renfield. During a storm, the Dementor in which Dracula was on runs aground in the harbour. Only the captain is aboard, but he's dead, tied to the wheel and holding a crucifix. He conserved 50 wooden boxes filled with earth. Mina discovered Lucy sleepwalking upon a hill one night. She saw a dark figure with white eyes and red eyes, bending over her, puncturing wounds on her neck and grows very weak. Dr. Seward says that she is suffering from loss of blood. Mina later discovers that Jonathan was seriously ill in a hospital in Budapest, Hungary. She goes there and they were married in the hospital. Seward asked from his teacher, Professor Abraham Van Helsing. Van Helsing was shocked by Lucy's deathly appearance and wounded throat. Van Helsing gives us a repeated blood transfusion from her fiancé and plus garlic upon her neck. Mina and Harker returns from Budapest. Lucy started acting seductive to her fiancé but collapses. Arthur kisses her just before she died. Harker believes he has seen a younger Count Dracula in England. Van Helsing places a crucifix, garlic flowers in her cof uh, coffin and told him that they have to remove her head. They soon learn that the crucifix was stolen and a number of children goes missing, sometimes returned with punctured necks. A horrified Mina reads Harker's journal. Van Helsing contacts Mina regarding Lucy's illness and she shows him the journal. Van Helsing takes Arthur and Harker to destroy Lucy, whom is a vampire. They finally stabbed Lucy in the heart, resulting to kill her. Harker finds out 50 boxes have been moved to Carfax Abbey. They took garlic, crucifix, holy water and communion wafers to Carfax Abbey. When they reached Carfax Abbey, they found that there were only 14 boxes overwhelmed with rats that were controlled by Dracula himself to kill them but they finally managed to destroy the boxes by spraying holy water upon them and escape. When they returned, they found Renfield badly beaten up in the asylum. Renfield said that he died before he died, that Dracula came to his window and asked to invite him in. They feared for Mina and went to Jonathan's apartment. And so Harker was unconscious and Mina was forced to drink Dracula's blood. They raised crucifix, but Dracula vanished into thin mist but Mina was now under control of Dracula. When Van Helsing touches Mina with his crucifix, it burns her, forming a crucifix in Mina's forehead. Van Helsing hypnotizes Mina at dawn in hope to find Dracula. Mina said that he was on a ship. 
they found Dracula was going back to Transylvania by the Kazarina Katarina, which was already sailed. They took the train to Europe and bring Mina along to attract Dracula, but Dracula broke the link between them, decided to go to Transylvania for, uh, of the castle where Dracula resides and wait for him there. Approaching Mina becomes increasingly depraved, just as Lucy did. Van Helsing draws a ring around her in the dirt with communion wafers in it. The brides of Dracula approached her, but the communion wafers stopped them. Van Helsing goes to the castle, where he destroys the brides. The Count, who is in a box, being brought to the castle in a wagon by gypsies. In the wild chase, the box falls out and the lid comes off, revealing the real Dracula. Finally, Seward, Jonathan and Arthur kills Dracula by stabbing a wooden stake through his heart. Drake, uh, Dracula's body turns to dust, blows away, freeing all of them to live in peace. The moral of Dracula can be interpreted in several ways. One prominent theme is struggle between good and evil, with the no uh, novel emphasizing the power of human courage and importance of unity. In the face of darkness, another uh, moral lesson is the, dark, uh, the danger of the darkness of unchecked ambition and the pursuit of power, as seen in Dracula's unstable desire to dominate and control others. Additionally, the novel warns against the dangers of isolation, both physically and emotionally, highlighting the importance of companionship and mutual support. Thank you. Mm -hmm.